One of the most important qualities to have as a teammate, being open to constructive criticism and not just being hard-headed about your opinions. How did I win that? I've become more of like a team player, I'd say, rather than like trying to be the star player every round. I op, I rifle, I can entry, I lurk. My job is basically to make the enemy feel really uncomfortable. Trigger this oh, he's he's going for One, two, oh, the third oh my as God. well. Hey everyone, I'm Tens, and in this Pro Guides course, I'm going to be teaching you how to be as disruptive as possible to the enemy team. So I'm going to be showing you all of my settings right now, including my peripherals and stuff. So right off the bat, my mouse, I'm on the G Pro Superlight right now. I like to play around with what mouse I have. And if anybody watches my stream, they know I like to kind of swap my mouse around a lot. I do have a kind of a weird grip though. I don't know how I developed it, but I noticed I was using it and it's kind of like like a palm claw but like my middle finger hovers over the mouse so if i'm like showing you me shooting like bots right now you can see that my grip will always stay hovering and it kind of adds like the stability into my grip for me if i'm opping though my grip changes i actually go into a claw grip when i'm opping which is i don't know why my brain just like auto changes the grip depending on what i'm doing i think that's kind of cool Right here is the GSR SE that I'm trying out as well. And then right off the bat, this keyboard I've been using for a while. This is my, it has Cherry MX Red switches. It's like a HyperX keyboard. I don't remember what one it is. And I like to play with my keyboard kind of like tilted. I kind of just like give it a nice like shove and keep it aligned with how I have my monitor. I also like to tilt my monitor stand so I can tilt my keyboard. I started playing with a tilted keyboard, I think because when I used to play, I had a smaller desk, and so tilting the keyboard was the way I could like maximize the space. So I just kept it ever since. And then for my monitor, it's more on like the lower side, plus I fully tilt it. So this is a gaming chair, and I just have a blanket over it, so it keeps me nice and warm. <laughs> so right off the bat, if we're talking about my, my mouse DPI, I always play with 800 DPI. That's kind of like the standard of what I've been playing with. Uh, for all my life, so I was stuck with it. If we're looking at my sense right now, I use 0.485 at the time of making this video. I mess around with like all my settings. So my sense, my mouse, my mouse pad, I always just kind of like change it up depending on what I'm doing. I, if I'm playing a tournament though, I like to keep the settings somewhat this consistent throughout the tourney, but after the tourney ends, it's free game. My zoom multiplier is one, and then for my like video settings, I like to have everything on the lowest. I've always played on lowest settings, and it maximizes performance. I, I don't know, I just like the simple look of low settings. My crosser right now, I'm rocking the cyan color, and I have no um, like outer lines, I just have the inner lines, and it's 1422. It has no movement error, no firing error, basically no outline, it's just really simple. When the game first came out, I was testing a lot with crosshairs and I didn't really like anything until I played with this crosshair and I don't know, it just like naturally feels good to me. I can see it in most scenarios and it's not like too obstructive and I can see the center. So there's a lot of good with this crosshair and that's kind of like why I picked it.